This is Bob Biznet, part of the sales team here at Tri-City RV on Wilder Road in Bay City, www.tricityrv.com. Family owned and operated for over 21 years in Bay City, Michigan. Tonight I'm gonna to walk you through a Cherokee Wolf Pack. This is our 2512 travel trailer. 25 feet of living space, 12 foot of garage space. Your house has a garage, why doesn't your RV have a garage? I'm gonna show you a few things. We're gonna do a walk around. We carry a large selection of wolf packs in travel trailers and fifth wheels. I can only show you tonight this one and how it is equipped. Make sure that you check with your sales associate before making a purchase so that you know what particular options it has because they vary slightly from trailer to trailer. Let's get started. First thing we'll notice is this is equipped with a Furion solar charger. And what this allows you to do is you open this lid and plug in a portable solar panel, which really comes in handy on a toy hauler because when I think about having a toy hauler with motorcycles, razors, dune buggies, a lot of times I'm out at a trailhead where I don't have shore power. A portable solar panel comes in handy. This is direct wire into your deep cycle batteries and that solar panel will help recharge your battery or batteries should you choose to get more than one. We have a nice front storage compartment up front. Heavy duty frame mounted scissor jacks with a quick connect for an outside stove or an outside grill. Our underbelly on this wolf pack is fully enclosed and heated. It's got an oversized 35,000 BTU furnace. Blue LED lights under the entry step to aid in getting in the camper at night. A Solera power awning with a blue LED light strip across. An outside TV hookup bracket which matches the bracket inside the trailer. I simply unhook my TV in the unit, bring it outside. They equip it with a video cable and a cable or antenna cable. So I can put a DVD inside the trailer, get sound through the speakers and watch movies outside under my awning at night. What a great feature. A six gallon gas electric suburban turbo hot water heater, a powder coated black folding assist grab handle, aluminum rims with easy lube axles, and on every wolf pack, we have what's called a friction hinge door. In high winds, I don't have to worry about the door slamming, and what the friction hinge door does is allows me to open the door all the way and position it right up against the side of the trailer. Whereas with the T-handle, the door always sticks out from the side of the trailer. We're going to do an outside walk around first, and then I'm going to take you inside. And as we're walking, you can see this beautiful patio, but we'll get to that in a couple of minutes. We have a detachable ladder on the side of this wolf pack. This allows me to get up on the roof, wash and maintain my roof, with ease. I simply push these buttons, I take this off so that when I'm going down the road I don't have to worry about this hitting anything. Every wolf pack we carry has its own large capacity fuel station where I can go to the gas station, fill this up with fuel. I have a fuel pump on here where I can pull my toy up and gas it up without having to go all the way into town or carrying multiple five gallon jugs of gasoline. I have an emergency shutoff switch for safety and a convenient fuel gauge to let me know when I'm running low on fuel. A detachable power cord. I have a black tank sewer flusher. I can hook a hose up to this. It sprays out the inside of my Blackwater tank. A separate satellite and cable TV hookup a convenient outside shower with hot and cold water. And if I can have Amanda pan back and look at the deluxe graphics and the beautiful two-tone charcoal gray with black 
exterior high gloss 0.024 gauge Mesa aluminum siding. What an attractive rig. And with the, this silver siding, one of the things I've noticed is, is that I never see a black streak on the side of this trailer because I know that black streaks are actually gray, but when you see them on the side of a white trailer, they look black. A power slide out room with a panorama window. That's a massive window and when we get inside you'll understand the concept. And panorama windows on both sides of the slide. Gives it a very, very wide open look and it's a very tall slide out as well. Every Wolfpack we carry comes with a generator station pre-wired for a generator. Simply slide the generator in here plug it in and there's a switch inside the trailer where you can fire up your generator from inside the trailer. Very convenient. Around the front, we've got extra thick 0.060 gauge aluminum. The side walls are 0.024, this is 0.064, or 060, excuse me, which is double the thickness of the side wall, which aids in anything hitting the front of the trailer. I've also got a stone guard, a powder coated I-beam frame, a front power jack, which makes hooking up my weight distributing bars very easy, and two 20 pound propane tanks with auto changeover regulator. We're gonna head inside this wolf pack. I'm going to have Amanda come through here and she can stand midway and get a shot of the front of the trailer. If you notice, we've got a beautiful faux brick entertainment center where our TV would mount here and easily detach to hook up to the outside. We've got a Furion uh, AM FM CD DVD player, real wood cabinet doors, and a very handy out of the way shoe garage for our shoes when we come inside the trailer, our shoes aren't always laying in the entryway. For purposes of demonstration, I've taken this door off, but you can see this wainscoted door on this side. There's actually a door adjacent to this one exactly like this that gives me a full private front bedroom area and Amanda's going to come in the other side. Now what I'll notice is on both sides of the bed I have hanging closed wardrobes, 110 outlets and nightstands on both sides of the bed for my cell phone charger, my CPAP machine, alarm clock, etc. And plenty of space to set all my belongings. I can lift up my bed and access my very deep under bed storage. One of the things I'd like to point out is the five ply plywood. Cherokee's a big believer in five ply plywood. The floor of this trailer is constructed of five ply AC marine grade plywood flooring. The same floorboard they use in Cedar Creek fifth wheels because Cherokee and Wolfpack are built right next door to Cedar Creek. We've got convenient pull down shades in the bedroom if Amanda can get a shot of that and then we have our generator station where we can flip this if we choose to put a generator in we've got our start and stop for our generator in the kitchen we've got solid surface countertops with a flush mount acrylic sink which is a super deep wide sink a pull out faucet with sprayer attachment and it's a high-rise faucet, so I can get that corn on the cob pan in the sink, plenty of room to rinse it. Another thing about the deep sink is as soon as you turn the water on, water doesn't splash all over you. There's a lot of trailers out there today that have very shallow sinks, and one of the complaints is, is that they get splashed all over. Real wood drawers constructed of plied plywood on ball-bearing roller glides. A drop-in cooktop with a glass cover. This could be used as counter space, but when I want to cook, I simply fold this over like so, 
put my pots and pans on and go to town cooking. Now you might say, where's the oven in this unit? On your toy hauler, you have a half time oven, which is a convection oven and a microwave. If the pizza says 350 for 40 minutes, you can put it in this unit on 350 for 20 minutes. It cooks 50% faster than the average microwave because it's a combination. I like to call it a half time oven. While we're down here, we'll look at the WFCO 55 amp power converter and a convenient battery disconnect switch in every wolf pack. A large eight cubic foot Norcold refrigerator where the industry standard is six. Wolfpack goes the extra mile, gives you a bigger refrigerator, knowing that you're going to be on longer trips with your toys, generally take a lot of people so you can get a lot of food in that oversized refrigerator. Wall to wall, commercial grade, linoleum, tear resistant, cold crack resistant. Now when we were outside I was telling you about the height of the slide. The majority of trailers you walk into, when I get to this point, I'm running into the slide fascia. Not so on the Wolf Pack. This is a very, very tall slide out room, and as you can see with our panorama windows, it's very bright in here. A solid wood table. This also folds down. Two adults can sleep very comfortably here. And then, of course, a Wolf Pack standard is the pull out 30 inch marine grade plywood drawers. I don't have to take my cushions off to access my storage. I can simply pull them out from underneath the dinette and get to my stuff. An attractive blue LED light above the slide out. With all the lights out in here at night, I leave the blue LED light on. If I'm coming out of the bedroom and I'm heading into the bathroom, I don't have to turn on any lights because that gives me just enough light not to interrupt sleep out here, but to get to the bathroom without running into the wall. Over here, we've got a very nice pantry for food, an LP gas leak and smoke detector, and there are plenty of 110 outlets in this unit. A systems monitor panel where we check the levels of our holding tanks, and LED lighting galore throughout. This is a high performance 15,000 BTU central ducted air conditioning system by Duotherm, which is a division of Dometic Corporation out of Indiana. More than enough to keep it cool in here. Now, a very interesting point of this trailer is, is when I think about toy hauling, I think about couples and families. The nice thing about this floor plan is, is that if we just come back over here, we have full sleeping separation in the bedroom, and we can close both of these doors. We've got private sleeping out in here, and then we've got a bathroom that is private from our toy garage. So I can sectionalize this trailer into separate sleeping quarters and bathroom. If someone's in the garage, I can privately use the bed the bathroom. If someone's sleeping out here, I can privately use the bathroom. And I can break this trailer up into sections. So for couples that want to bring their grandkids with their mini bikes and stuff like that, if they're sleeping out here, you have full privacy up front, they have privacy out here, and we have a fully uh, private bathroom. And I'm going to have Amanda come in here for a minute and look at the size of this bathroom. I was astounded when this came in and I came inside of here. Number one, this thing is huge. I've got plenty of foot, plenty of leg room on my foot pedal flush Sealand 310 series toilet. A massive real wood pantry for towels, washcloths, toilet chemicals, toilet tissue, Kleenex, a real wood medicine cabinet, and one of the largest lavatory sinks that I've seen in the industry. Solid surface countertops in the kitchen, solid surface countertops in the bathroom. Beautiful wood throughout, and then the shower. Endless height. If you're 6'5 or 6'8, you can take a shower in this toy hauler. Very high ceiling in here. We've got a heat duct in the bathroom, 
and an air conditioning duct in the bathroom, and a fantastic fan. It's called a fantastic vent, and it actually discharges 920 cubic foot of air per minute out of the trailer, which creates about an eight mile an hour, six to eight mile an hour breeze. Now we're heading into the toy box. This is the garage of our RV. Like I said earlier, your house has, an, has a garage. Why not your RV? And as Amanda panorams around in here, we can see that our height when we pull in this door is just, just under seven feet. We'll fit most of today's, when you're driving up the ramp, we'll fit most of today's uh, dune buggy type razors, ATVs, and stuff like that. We can put a flat screen TV out here. It's got a TV hookup, an air conditioning duct out here, and I've got a massive, what looks like a king size bed on a power lift by Happy Jack, and also two sofas that convert into sleeping area, and these are on a power lift. So I don't have to horse these beds up, I can raise them up and down with the push of a button. And by the way, folks, they're 12 volt. So if I'm primitive camping, I can run these up and down right off the battery. The second entrance door makes it nice because I can come in and out of the garage without going into the trailer. I've got a convenient blackout, window blackout vent. So whoever is sleeping back here, and by the way, we have these on all of the windows, who's ever sleeping back here can sleep comfortably with no one peering in the windows. It's also a security feature because we don't want people looking in the windows to look at your Harleys, to look at your toys, to look at your golf carts because they might want to get in here and make off with it. Massive cabinetry with deep shelves for my tools, my oil, my rags, anything that I might have associated with my toys. We've got fold down privacy flaps or a fold down screen area. So if it's spring and the uh, mosquitoes are eating you alive, you fold these down. We've got a beautiful screen that comes down and I can sit out here and enjoy an adult beverage um, and shoot the breeze with friends without getting eaten alive by the insects. The cargo area has a 2,000 pound capacity. Um, again, with the marine grade plywood floor as opposed to the OSB, it really makes it super strong. And a really neat feature about this is how they line the edge of this with diamond plate. We all know with the toys, there's always stuff banging up against the walls. And while I'm kicking, you can see that there's plenty of out 110 outlets throughout this unit. I mean, I'm standing here and I'm just, I've counted three within about a five foot area. If I really want to get fancy, I can bring my zero gravity recliners out here and hang out on my patio. This is a very simple patio to operate. It's simply, you simply push on the button and it rolls flat. You close the door. It's really easy to put out and I've got a patio. As Amanda comes to the outside, I'd like to point out that every gray wolf has a four and a half inch tapered crowned roof truss system with gutter extensions, a rigid security light, which is an LED light, which would ward off any potential thieves to get into my toy box. And every wolf pack is pre-wired for a backup camera. This is quite a long travel trailer right here. I've got a lot of expensive toys in the back. It's nice when I put my truck in reverse to have a backup camera to see where I'm going so that I don't back up into my garage. This is one of many wolf packs that we carry. We also carry fifth wheels in this line. It hits a price point, folks, that few can. I invite you to stop by Tri-City RV on Wilder Road in Bay City or www.tricityrv.com. We've been on Wilder Road in Bay City for over 21 years. We're family owned and operated. Service is our specialty, service after the sale. We look at a sale as the beginning of a relationship. I hope to see you soon. Thanks and happy camping.